Hi, my name is Benjamin Watson. You are tuning in to another five minute devotional. Today we're going to be talking about resting. And yes, I know it's been a week since I've posted, um, but believe me, you may say, well, Ben, where have you been? You haven't been creating, but we have had a lot of amazing things happening at our church and within our student ministry. And so with that, I'm coming out of a busy season, a busy weekend, and I'm going into a day of rest. And so I want to talk about the things maybe I'm doing within this season of rest that I've done right, but also the things that I've done wrong and talk about how do we find true rest? How do we find rest out of a busy season? How do we find rest maybe within a new job or a heavy workload? Or maybe you're someone like me that even on the days off, we struggle to rest. So today let's talk about how do we find true rest? Well, like I said, I'm coming out of a busy season and um, definitely a rewarding season here at our church. We had a big event where we saw, I mean, hundreds of just people deciding that they wanted to make a decision within their life that would change them forever with that being, you know, salvation, maybe rededication, baptism, whatever it may be. And so I am filled spiritually in a way that I'm not normally filled because when you come off a mountaintop moment like that, man, it lasts. It's something that Man, it just it strengthens your soul, your heart, your mind. And so going into a day of rest, that made it a little bit challenging. How do I turn off? How do I not let those things keep me up at night with excitement? Because yes, it is exciting, but my body, you know, I need physical rest, but my soul needs rest as well. I need spiritual rest. And so how do I obtain that? Well, the first thing I started to do when, A, I started to go through my day of rest today, but also thinking through the things I've read and, and just doing some research I believe that our rest starts before the rest comes, before the end of the workload comes, before the end of the season. It's within the preparation. Are you finding your identity in him and not in yourself? You're not trying to prove yourself. And so I I wrote down, understanding we aren't alone. Find your identity in Christ, not in the job or work you're performing. You don't need to approve yourself by your works. You You aren't in need of fighting to prove your value. Jesus came and died for you, paying the highest price, and the only thing you have to do is come and lay your life at his feet and trust in his plan, not yours. It's the process of finding identity in Christ. And so maybe you're someone who doesn't have your identity in him, and so maybe rest is hard because you're trying to find, you know, your fill or your fix within other things. You know, it doesn't have to be as, you know, crazy as drugs or alcohol, but it could be watching a lot of Netflix, a lot of social media, and I'm someone, I love YouTube, but... There's times where it's great and you know me and my wife will just have our moments where we're we're on YouTube or Instagram or whatever and that's awesome but we need to find those moments that we fill up our soul not just our mind and occupy brain space with something else besides work. I feel like we do a lot of that. We do a lot of occupying our brain, maybe getting it to turn not off but onto something else, keeping it stimulated instead of just turning off altogether or maybe just resting in him instead of other things. And so I think that's the first thing. I think we first have to understand that we need an identity in Him. And that leads us into where we then find our rest, and that is in Him. I mean, it sounds so simple and so cliche, but it's true. You know, I often come home and I go, why am I not filling up? Why am I so tired? You know, maybe it's spiritual, maybe it's physical. And the truth of the matter is I come home, and yes, I want to mentally turn off. I want to shut down. But a Sabbath or a day of rest is us filling up. We're supposed to be resting in Him. And so Matthew 11, 28 through 30 reads, Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. You know, for me, I'm not that I'm weary, but maybe I'm burdened with just the physical weight of this past week or the spiritual stress. Maybe I was running at 100 miles per hour. It then says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Key phrase here, learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Well, what I get out of these verses is, like I said, learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, you will find rest for your souls. What I see or feel is conviction. Conviction on my life that I don't find rest in the right places, and I'm calling myself out on it because, man, I'm someone who's an introvert, and maybe you're that way, that people are great, you know, within ministry, you're serving people all the time, and it's awesome, but I often need time to just rest on my own, or just rest with my wife, and just find that internal peace, and that is great, but I need to make sure that I don't isolate myself from the one whose yoke is easy, from the one who will, you know, 
take away the burdens on my heart, take away the burdens on my life who will make the process easier, and that is God. You know, at the beginning I said you must have a true identity in Him, and so do I? Yes. But I don't need to be hypocritical and say that I will find the strength in myself, that on the days of rest I will just rest on my phone, I will rest watching TV, Netflix, um, you know, just with my wife, that we will fill each other up. That's not how it works. We need to find time to rest in His Word and pray to Him. And I found this quote on Bible.com. It says, As love to Christ deepens in the soul that is truly given to Him, the work which it prompts us to do for Him loses the feeling of effort and passes into pleasure. And that convicted me, man. Like, am I truly creating a healthy cycle of preparation, you know, Really, my day of rest is preparing me for the next season. Yes, some people don't just look at your day of rest as, you know, a healing of the past, but look at it as a preparation for the future. And so, how's my cycle? Am I preparing myself going into the busy week or just a normal work week? I have to prepare myself for that every week. So then that way he's within the preparation. He's within the process. He's there working on just the day-to-day phone calls, the emails, whatever it may be. So they don't build up into these angers and bitterments throughout the week. Then he's there in the middle. He's there in the trenches with you. And then he's there in the end again for the repeat. You know, rinse, wash, repeat. He's there. And so are you resting in him today? Are you, you know, we've read before through Psalms that we must meditate on his word day and night and rest in him. And, and that's so true. Um, but this has just convicted me to understand that after such a busy week that I don't just say, okay, I've had so much faith. I've had so much, you know, church that all right, I'm going to take a break from it. And that's not it at all, man. Our day of Sabbath, our day of rest is the one which we should fill up the most. We, you know, we need to be overflowing. I've said it over and over, but we need to be overflowing. And so I hope this helps you find rest today. I hope that it's something you needed to hear. I know it's something that convicted me. And so if you have any questions, remember you can comment down below, click any of the links, follow, like, and share. It goes a long way. Um, We will get back into the rotation of every Monday and Friday with the devotionals, but please just stay patient. And so thank you again for tuning in. Have an amazing day. God bless.